Of course, you would see a guy like Nas rocking something from Dapper Dan because Dapper Dan is his Virgil. And to a young person today who they love Virgil, they love the Jerry Lorenzo, they love all those guys. Dapper Dan was that guy first. Hey, I'm Trinidad James. I'm Spencer Shapiro, and today we're here to talk about celebrities and their glasses. Elton John's really a pioneer in eyewear. That guy has so many different styles, colors, and really he was one of the first to wear Cartier. In 1983, they had a premiere party at their eyewear collection, and he was one of the people to perform there. He was big on wearing the Cartier Must. It's like a smaller frame. So I noticed Elton's been wearing a lot of frames with red tints lately, and personally I love that. Red's an awesome color, adds a lot of pop to your wardrobe, and I incorporate that in a lot of my styles. I'm so used to seeing Elton wear so many different colors, I'm not even, I don't even pay attention to color, I'm more into the shape. I mean, I love colors, but when it comes to eyewear, I'm into the shapes of the hearts and the squares and the ovals, and just finding new shapes to fit your face, to me, is like that everyday like challenge. When shopping for new shades and eyewear, for me is just finding a shape that works with my face. Those look like um, heart-shaped Gucci's that he has on, like, heart shape. Like, he's just always gonna be an influence because he's not scared of pushing the envelope. You know, he is the envelope. He's an alien, man, For honestly. Sure. That's someone who does it all. He's having fun with it. That's Elton being Elton, doing his thing. Really cool, I like the turquoise stones on the first pair. Well, they're probably plastic. These could be Gucci. Gucci's really been doing their thing lately with just, you know, really putting the bedazzle on the Alessandro and everything they're doing over there Gucci. They're just going crazy with automatically putting the custom to everything that they do. So, like, how these mus Moschinos I have here from the 90s, how they came with the stones already on it from, like, 1990, wherever. Gucci's bringing that right back because the 70s were just a, such an amazing era when it came to fashion, style, accessories, you name it, clothes. Like if you look at the suit, look at the lapels on the jacket for Elton, you know, it makes sense for him to have those type of glasses on. Like it's important to have a great plastic. You can't never go wrong with just a great plastic frame, period. I just gotta say that guy has a crazy style, has stuff I've never even seen before. Dapper Dan, I mean, where do you start? I mean, first of all, it's just excellence, walking excellence um, from Harlem. One of the just most legendary designers, black designers, period. When you have the type of talent that a man like that possess, you have to wear a certain type of glasses. Like, things are just not regular. As you can see with the eyewear, that he, his eyewear choices, he's not a regular guy. And he also doesn't have the biggest face, but he still likes big eyewear. Eyewear and accessories, they say a lot. They could tell, it, it shows a lot about your confidence. You know, it shows you what type of person you are. Like I said, everybody can't pull these off. I'm not, I would never tell any, force anyone that you need to pull this off. But, no, just don't look at the table like this and feel like, oh, nah, this is all, oh, this is too much for me. No, you don't know that. You gotta find your way. And I, I love Dapper Dan for, you know, his work with Gucci now, the right way. And, I mean, just him being a pioneer, just like a car locker. I look at him the same way. You know, just from Harlem. So, you know, it's really awesome about the picture with the Gucci glasses that says Dapper Down the side. It's really awesome because it reminds you, it kind of puts you in the mind of the Kazal. Coming up in the, well, not coming up in my day, but in this day, you know, those heydays, like when the 80s were just special and incredible. When fashion and, and being a black designer was rare, it wasn't celebrated the way it needed to be. You've seen everybody from hip hop artists to a person like Dapper Dan rocking the cool, clear see-through gazelles. For him to take the Gucci glasses, kind of give you that feel again of the Kazal, but put his own Dapper Dan touch on it with the Savorskis. I mean, it's just pure confidence and it's amazing to see him do his thing. You know, he's not a young man, but he's rocking things that young men don't even have the capability and the idea yet of that type of confidence. Of course you would see a guy like Nas rocking something from Dapper Dan because Dapper Dan is his Virgil. And to a young person today who they love Virgil, they love the Jerry Lorenzo, they love all those guys. Dapper Dan was that guy first. All these guys are new and great and amazing, but you would see Nas rocking Dapper Dan. He probably would rock the other brands too, but do you find this picture faster than you'll find Nas rocking these millionaires or these Chanel Pharrell. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Lucas Savat, killing it. Was such a big influential person to fashion, to models, to all these other young kids today who want to understand what it is to just be the man. You want to know what it is to be the man? Want to follow Luca? 
Look at the eyewear he's wearing. Then a legend like Questlove, you know, that oversized eyewear, but still, it's something there about it's like, I got this big cage over my face, but I'm still letting you in. You can still see me. And it just goes to show you, I want you to see me. These guys want you to see them, but they're also hiding their face. It's really interesting. Robert Downey Jr., he's just, that's an OG. I love how he always has different colored tints, different shapes. He's not really a wild dresser, but he lets his, his eyewear talk for him. Those are definitely a more modern, a more modern style. Not sure what the brand is. It has a custom yellow tint, which is nice because, you know, still protects the eyes, but you can wear them indoors or outdoors. It gives you a little bit of protection against light, but you can still see the eyes. And you can see that with all of his glasses too. Right. All his glasses, you'll be able to see his eyes, but they do have a tint on them. That plays to his coolness. You know, it's almost like having transition lenses. You walk out in the sun, dark, boom, cover your eyes. You come inside, you want people to see you. You want people to feel your presence. He's not scared to look you in the face. None of them are dark, too dark, you can't see his eyes. And there's also, if you pay attention to it, he keeps a square. Like he finally, he found a shape that he likes for his eyes. It's a science to this. It's not just picking up glasses and putting them on. After a while, if you buy 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 pairs of glasses, it becomes a science. The blue lens, with a guy like Robert, or I like to call him Tony Stark. With Tony Stark, that's a Tony Stark pair of glasses. He could wear it every day, but I just feel like a person that has so many different pairs of sunglasses, that's just a good one. You know, he's a guy who's about his tints. He probably gets custom tints done all the time. He finds those frames that really lock you into his eyes, that really bring you in. They're actually getting a whole new lens put in. It's custom cut and dyed. They basically remove it from the frame, they trace it in the machine, and then they're gonna custom mix the dye to the color of your choice. That's so cotton you candy, three colors. Even this, like I made, I made 3D glasses. So, you know, one side red, one side blue, and you can actually look at a 3D image and see it popping out when you're wearing these. Next, we got Spike Lee. I mean, the OG, a person who is definitely about their look. As you can see, he has found his shape. Usually, I see him wearing more of a Wayfarer style. He wears a lot of round frames, too, with a thick rim around them. Spike Lee has been around forever, directing movies, doing commercials with Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, you know, just being on the scene and picking up different styles from all over the world. But as you can see, he still allows you to see his face. And it kind of just shows you, I would assume, that Spike is a serious guy. And I feel that when he puts on eyewear and his accessories, he means business, but they're still fun. Cause he's a fun guy and he loves sneakers. And you can see the colorways and the things that he loves about Jordans and Nikes come out in his eyewear. Especially when he goes to the game, he'll pop out the orange frame, he probably has an orange and blue shoe on. I would imagine, you know, match it up. Even the purple outfit, I think that was the Oscars when he won his first Oscar. And, you know, he had gold Jordans on, a uh, purple suit, purple frame, the purple hat. With the glasses and accessories, it's really a madness to it. Yeah, that double frame, that's something I've never seen before, but I really like it a lot. He lets the color of the frame itself pop, and he keeps the tint simple. So, you know, usually keeps his regular prescription lenses in there, or does just, you know, a light gray or black tint. So that's something that's really unique. Samuel Jackson, the legend, the man himself, style untouched, a man who knows what he wants. We'll do the shade, we'll do, you can see my eyes. You never know, he kind of is different, a little bit different than Spike. They're kind of similar, and they, they, they know their style, but he'll switch it up. He'll give you a dark, he'll give you a see-through also. Look at that grape kangle, that thing is amazing. So what he's wearing right now is what they call a semi-rimless, like a half rim frame. So top is just kind of floating, and then it's supported by a rim uh, underneath. Samuel Jackson's not a young man. It's really amazing to see their eyewear transcend going into 2020. Like they're not wearing male street glasses. Like they're wearing new frames and new styles and new tints and you know putting together outfits with these glasses is a beautiful thing. They don't even think about the age. You, you don't know how old they are. When you're in their presence and you look at their eyewear, their accessories, their outfits, it's right on time. So growing up, I've always been a collector of all sorts of things. I started, um, you know, on sneakers, bait, all types of luxury goods. You know, as a teenager, I, I started off working at a local boutique called Revive back in Detroit. That really got me into the scene. So from there, I'd see all types of people coming in wearing rare Cartiers, rare Versace, Alpina, all types of these brands. You know, especially Cartier, considering that being a huge fashion staple in Detroit. So from there, you know, I really just 
saved up some money, got my first pair of frames, and ended up turning into a business. And very similar to Spencer, like myself, him growing up in Detroit, it kind of is very, it reflects the art collection. If you can see, he's heavy Cartier, grew up in Detroit. I grew up in Atlanta and a few other places where you know, I only have one pair of Cartiers per se on my table, but just different styles. Like I seen Andre 3000, the things that he used to wear back in the day, and like characters like Lil Jon, the Young Bloods, and so many different artists that I grew up paying attention to. These right here, as you recognize them, these remind you of Kurt Cobain. Some eyewear for a lot of celebrities, they have a staple piece. Like that's their thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like for me, all these are my thing. But for Kurt Cobain, this is his thing. Christian Roth from 92. They discontinued these this particular pair of shades. Also, um, Spencer has the right here. Versace's Versace. Gianni Versace the Biggie Smalls. You know, these were classic for him. Oh, for sure. Not to say I he didn't it. wear other glasses, but when you think Biggie, he, he was just so known for these, for sure. You know?